1976, I was a single mom on unemployment with two little kids living in Atlanta. And my sister in California said, take the bus for Greyhound has a $50 ride and you can bring your kids for free. Then I got ovarian cancer and I was given a 50% chance of living. Of course, I lost all my hair and had experimental chemo, but I had a great guy in my life who helped take care of me. So I really do feel I'm on the right path. And even though it didn't work out for 13 years, I was doing, when I got well, I was doing all kinds of things. This is Senator Calais with When the Bow Breaks exhibition and my partner, Fran Adler. This is in LA at We Rise. This is in Fallbrook, Life Doesn't Frighten Me exhibition. This is the United State of Women in LA, Planet 911 with Aldonia and George in LA. Another project I've done over the years since 2012 is Sea Changes, where I painted silks, I created under water installations. I've been in three museums with this project to encourage people to, to realize the loss that we have going on. It's hidden underneath the ocean because of climate change. So Compassionate Arts, I co-founded with Felicia Faye Love, Lene Williams in Pasadena. And we have wonderful leading artists, Aldonia and Heather are too. And the Post for Peace and Justice project, I co-founded with Lisa Parsons in Atlanta. And this is these are pictures from that uh, when we did uh, a youth camp, a peace camp for the Methodist youth. And uh, each post they painted dealt with different things, violence, and um, suicide and things, mental health. And so uh, a, a lot of them also dealt with the UN global goals. And um, one of the closest things to my heart, I've been working with refugees over the last eight years. And those silks are from that. And Tide Richards has been my uh, support system since I've been doing that and I am very grateful to him. He understands my need to use art and to show the world how art can make a difference and wake people up and teach people. And co by combining with other artists, and this is at the United States of Women in LA, we, uh, we amplify the voices. This is uh, in Washington, D.C. And this is the at the UNA in Washington, D.C. We went to all kinds of legislators from our local area to talk to them. And because I have both Atlanta and California uh, passed, I can speak to both of those areas because I still have worked in Atlanta and, and in Georgia and Columbus, Georgia at the university and in the community there. So things like health care, veterans care, mental health, making stories real and helping people be able to talk about it is part of the, the wonderful thing about Post for Peace and Justice. I lived 20 years in Monterey, California. And so I think that influenced me with the ocean, caring about the ocean for sure, and also caring about students because I taught at the university. And then I, this is another project, Dream Cubes, where kids make dreams come true, basically. And this was with migrant, uh, migrant communities in the San Diego area, and they are DACA, students and they were worried about their futures. This is a the U.S. Human Rights Conference with Lisa and Felicia and I. Uh, we got to present when we were there and it was really great and talk about the refugee work that we've done and the neighborhoods and the Atlanta Beltline and the, the, the youth summit in Los Angeles 
and um, this post is on abuse and child abuse specifically and uh, it was done with five uh, women artists who had been abused. This is a silk that I painted because so I've always done silk in between the posts and other artworks. The posts are really nice because they create a statement. They're eight foot tall and they're five inches in diameter. So um, when we were in Sacramento, this uh, young teenager came up and was talking about how um, her at school she wasn't even able to talk about her heritage, which was a mixed race heritage because the teachers were so afraid. And yet that's all I've done is make it possible for people to talk about uh, the things they care about in a way that's compassionate, always compassionate. That's what compassionate arts is about. Because people, if you, uh, if you really work with people, you can change their minds and make their hearts open. And that's what I found with my work over and over again, especially the work that influenced legislation in 19 state capitals in Washington, D.C., the, in the Senate, and in Congress buildings, at conferences. So influencing in a way that opens the heart and helps people listen to the facts is part of what makes the art powerful. And then the other part is giving a voice to people who feel afraid or who um, don't know what to do when things go wrong and they feel lonely, especially now with the virus. It's, uh, I just had a conversation with a friend of mine who is immune compromised and she is worried and I, I am too. I mean, I, I was diagnosed with cancer again just six months ago. So um, this was in Atlanta. So I work a lot with communities of color because I believe that um, I am come from a privileged background because I'm white and this is my granddaughter. <laughs> and and that, um, that makes it possible for me to open some doors for them to, for them meaning authorities and people that can make legislation and policy listen and really listen and make a difference and 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 sometimes they'll have legislation and then they give up but but we as artists can help them not give up we can help them in ourselves see the beauty in life see the the way that fun and i love puppets um creativity can make a difference because it opens up the conversations that we need to have and so when you open those conversations up, people that have sometimes for years felt like nobody listened to them, all of a sudden they feel heard. And when somebody feels heard, they feel respected and they feel hope. And so that's really, really important. Um, working with First Night Monterey in Monterey, and working with Cal State University and the Arts Council for Monterey County and the Community Foundation for Monterey County all made a huge difference in my life.